Hello, this is Tim Belcher with Right Way Home Inspections. A friend of mine called and he said, Tim, I want you to come over and take a look at this box. I'm getting a lot of water and moisture around this box and it's beginning to cause a problem. Uh, after I got here and seen what was going on, it was obvious that it was condensation, but you want to make sure anytime something like this is going on in your home that you eliminate you know, some obvious uh, areas, make sure it's not uh, a roof leak. Uh, or a window nearby or a door nearby that's leaking. Uh, make sure there's no plumbing uh, in the wall uh, involved. But if it's none of those uh, things, it's probably condensation, which is exactly what this was. Uh, the condensation is caused by you know, a poorly insulated area on, in your house. The cold air is coming through. Uh, there's a, you know, obviously, I've removed the plate cover here, but when it comes through, it hits that plate and runs up the walls around the plate and it creates moisture on the walls uh, around the plate. The, the remedy for this problem um, you know is very simple. You, a lot of times you can just go to the hardware store and buy a foam gasket to put on uh, behind the plate and that will stop the air from coming in around uh, the box. Uh, but sometimes those foam gaskets are not easy to find and a, a very simple way that you can remedy this problem is uh, using a foam insulation um, you know in a can make sure you get the kind that's for windows and doors because you don't want it to expand too much uh, first thing you want to do obviously is make sure that there's no electricity uh, at this point uh, while you're working on this box make sure that the breaker is turned off uh, remove the switches uh, you know unscrew them and pull them out there's usually enough lead wire uh, most electricians will leave plenty of lead wire so that if you have to change out a switch uh, that it's not a problem. And you can drill, after you pull those switches out, you can drill four, two or three holes maybe, uh, in the back of that box so that you can use that, those holes to put the tube in that comes with your uh, foam insulation and spray a little foam insulation uh, in the back of the box uh, in the cavity that's formed uh, between the plywood on the outside of your house and the back of the box uh, that will insulate that area well and then I don't know if you can see it but a lot of times there's gaps you know in the corners here uh, in between the box the blue box and the drywall and the four corners uh, you can also spray foam insulation uh, in those four corners and that will pretty much create a seal around the box to stop the air from coming in. You know, it's a good idea to go around the outside walls of your house and uh, check all your plugs and switches to make sure there's no air coming in around it. It'll help you out on your light bill and it will certainly stop the problem with condensation uh, on, building up on your walls. This is Tim Belcher with Right Way Home Inspections. I hope you found this information helpful.